I mean, honestly, I don't know why more people don't film YouTube videos in the dark. Mind you, gives me a chance to show you my new Phoenix head torch. Let's get her switched on. Oh, that's the, uh, the ground light and the spotlight. Can you still see me? <laughs> I'll show you the front view. Check this out. Okay, trust me, there's a path down there somewhere. And we've got a floodlight. That's the lowest setting. Can you see anything? That's the medium setting. <laughs> now we're talking. And then there's the uh, high setting. Woohoo! <laughs> so that's just one of the two lights we've got on here. I'll turn that one off a second while we look at the uh, spotlight. That's the spotlight on uh, level one. That's for long distance viewing. And it also gives you a brighter focus where you're looking. That's uh, number two. You can see quite a distance for this one. And then number three, basically a car headlight. <laughs> no trouble with that. So if I switch the uh, ground light on as well, there we go, we're fully lit up. I decided to replace the slightly cheaper Superfire head torch I had off Amazon because I found that it was perfect for walking speed. <laughs> But yeah, as soon as you started running, it just wasn't bright enough and light enough to be confident that you're going to tread somewhere safe. Whereas this thing, you've you've got meters ahead of you where you can uh, see where you're about to tread. It's much brighter, you can see much further. And uh, yeah, it seems to do the job perfectly. I can run without any concerns, even on fields and trails at night. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this uh, another good run out today. It's been for a couple of runs with me already. And uh, yeah, it's uh, doing the job really well so far. Right guys, just over five kilometers into it now. Obviously the sun's starting to come up, so the head torch has done its job, got me here. Uh, it's been a bit of a slow plod up to now, uh, taking it easy through fields full of cows. <laughs> Most of them lying down, but one or two standing directly in the path, their eyes glowing with the reflection from the head torch <laughs> as they watch me pass, so yeah, tried not to spook them. Uh, so yeah, five kilometres in, done a lot of running through farmers fields on the public footpaths and ran through the village of Pilsley so uh, this uh, this run today is two weeks after my previous video where I ran three laps of the local trail and a total of 24 kilometers which is my longest continuous run to date so now I'm uh, building up to my attempt at four laps of the trail which will be about 31 kilometers and the furthest distance I've been on a run or run walk. So that's the, the next goal. So last week I did a, a shorter long run of only 17 kilometers. Uh, today should be about 19. And then I'm going to ramp up over the next few weeks before the 31K attempt. So I'm gonna do a 24, 28, which will be my longest run ever. And then the 31, so that's the plan anyway. <laughs> See how we go. Um, so yeah, that's how my training's going at the moment. And today, uh, having been through Pilsley, uh, we're now heading towards Tibshell. I say we, you're not, obviously. Just watching me do it. And then uh, after that, we'll be going through Morton. Um, as you enter Morton, the sign says that it's the center of England. And there's actually a tree to mark where the centre of England is, according to the folk of Morton. Obviously there's uh, at least half a dozen places in England and Great Britain that claim to be centres. Um, I think Morton's claim is based on the fact, well, I believe it to be a fact, uh, according to what they've said, uh, that if you measure halfway across the south coast, halfway across the Scottish border and draw a line straight down, that goes through Morton, 
and the same with the east coast and the Welsh border. Um, so yeah, draw across there and uh, you'll be at the tree that we're going to see later. <laughs> so that should be interesting. Uh, assuming I find it, I'll uh, let you see. Catch you in a bit. Better start running. Okay, reached Tib Shelf on the Five Pits Trail. Just about to have some breakfast. Not eaten anything so far. I've recently bought these gels from Amazon. Don't know if they're any good. I've only used one running gel before. It wasn't this sort. I just bought a pack of these, so <laughs> hopefully it's good. Uh, I'll try that now. Give me some fuel for the rest of the trip. And I'll let you know what it's like. Seven magpies. <laughs> nice view up here. This is where I stopped for a snack on one of my previous videos. Just sat down there. It's nice, nice and peaceful this time in the morning. There's not much point showing you the view to be fair. I mean, I've seen them on YouTube videos before and if you're watching it on your phone, <laughs> just a very small bit of green in the distance and a reflection off some water. But uh, if you just want to humour me and uh, just pause the video at this point, pop down to your local TV and electrical goods store, pick yourself up a projector, massive projector screen that covers your entire living room wall, you know, the big wall, not the little one at the end. Get that set up and then, uh, yeah, you'll probably appreciate this view. It's, uh, it's worth it. I'll wait. Don't be too long though. Not sure the view will be quite as good if it starts to go dark. But uh, yeah, otherwise, take your time. Right, I've just been through Doe Hill Country Park, featured on one of my videos before. That's where the view was. And now I'm uh, following the road that goes between Tib Shelf and Morton, heading towards the centre of England with the famous tree. So. Uh, yeah, jog through the village. I think I've got about another kilometre or so before I get to the tree. It's only 11 kilometres up to now. And uh, we'll see it when we get there. I think this might be it, guys. I think that's the tree. I'm not allowed to park because there's a TPO, a tree protection order. Centre of England. Or as legend has it, the centre of the world. Yeah, so apparently there's a secret door in the tree there that uh, leads you to the underground offices of the powers that be, the people who actually run the country. And obviously, if you think about it, Boris and them lot actually run the country between them. I mean, they struggle to run, run a bath, some of them. But, yeah, it's actually run underground by uh, half a dozen Yorkshiremen and a whippet who uh, sit around drinking real ale and Yorkshire tea and setting the world to rights. And then when they've done, dip out and do 48 hours down pit for the... Uh, Go to the pub on the way home. kilometer run it's quite ironic really that we're about as far away from the sea as you can get and we still have seagulls there's 
well for my Guildford buddies. There we go then folks, 19 kilometers in uh, two hours 17 and uh, just got a short walk home now to cool down. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the trip to the centre of England there, seeing the famous tree and uh, I'll be back next time there's a long run somewhere of interest and uh, eventually I'll be attempting that four laps of the trail run. 31 kilometers so stay tuned for that uh, thanks for watching again please like the video comment down below if you want to say hello have a chat ask any questions look forward to speaking to you i'll catch you next time